Well, he, he asked me to stand up and he begins to speak a word of prophecy over me. He says, uh, Jonathan, the Lord's going to give you the gift of discerning of spirits. He's called you as a seer, which I didn't know what that was at the time. And he said, you're going to begin to discern spirits more than you ever wanted to, which at that point I had never wanted to. Of so course. anything would have been impressive. <laughs> yeah. So uh, instantly I had this, this impartation where I received this prophetic word and it, it started to happen. I started to see things What in was the, the first thing you remember seeing? I remember seeing uh, a bookshelf that was in my house and seeing fire on it. And as I went over to it, the Lord told me uh, there were specific books on there that I needed to read. And so I began to pull them down and they were from different leaders that uh, taught on the prophetic, taught on discerning mm -hmm. spirits. And the Lord was guiding me into uh, the books that I needed to grow and learn in this gift at that time. Overwhelmed. I was seeing stuff all the time. And uh, I'd walk down the street and I'd see uh, serpents wrapped around certain buildings or demonic beings on top of certain buildings. And you um, probably, you were seeing things and probably didn't really understand what you were seeing. I, as much as I could, I stayed home. I was so overwhelmed. I, I, were you afraid? I was not enjoying this experience, definitely. Hmm. Yes, it was quite, it was quite overwhelming, quite scary. Um, and and uh, if I went to a store, I'd see objects stuck in people at times, swords, spears, arrows, and I didn't understand what I was seeing. So uh, I kept reading, asking the Lord, what, what is it that I'm encountering here? I'd go to services where there was worship going on, and if the worship got cut off, like if the speaker comes up to share and the worship got cut off at a time when it shouldn't have, I would see angels crying. Really? I, you know, that happens a lot. It I does. mean, I haven't seen the angels cry, but yeah. it, 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 I know when the things are, uh, you know, it just, it's just we got too much to do. Definitely, definitely. And, and so... Uh, I mean, could you tell by just walking down the street if someone was a believer? Yes, that was one of the most clear things, is that there would be a radiant light that shined uh, behind a believer. It was like it shined out in all directions. Hmm. And you could tell who a believer was because they carried the glory of God. And you could tell uh, who a non-believer was because there was like a veil of darkness around them. It says in Corinthians that the, the God of this age has veiled the eyes of the unbeliever. There's literally a veil that surrounds an unbeliever. And so when I look at, at an individual on the street, um, if they're a believer who is being oppressed by depression or sickness, uh, sometimes I'd see a cloud of darkness around them that was oppressing the light shining out of them. And sometimes uh, I'd see body parts hanging in the air, and the Lord would say they need that body part put into them. But uh, one of the key verses was Proverbs 12, 18. It says that reckless words pierce like a sword. Hmm. And so, uh, and the tongue of the wise brings healing. So I said, Lord, give me the tongue of the wise. I had this lady come and she sat down in a chair at one of my meetings where I was praying for healing. And uh, she looked like a pin cushion. She had spears in the spirit uh, that were sticking out in every direction, about eight to 10 feet. And on each spear, it had a word, it had fear, it had rejection, unforgiveness, bitterness. And I, as I got close to her, I said, as I always do, can I lay hands on you to pray? And this is the first and only time she said, uh, no, please don't, uh, because it physically hurt if you touched her. And I said, well, uh, can I tell you what I'm seeing? And I described it to her. And she said, well, that makes sense because I'm on all these medications for fibromyalgia, uh, chronic fatigue, Epstein-Barr virus, and uh, social anxiety disorders as well. So when someone gets within the eight to 10 feet range of her, her body, she feels it. She feels and, and it you stir could, up. So it, it's almost like you were seeing in the spirit what was reflecting in the physical. Exactly, that's the best way to say it. And so I, I said, well, honey, let me pray for you and let's, uh, let's remove these spears. And so we began to pray through prayers of forgiveness and releasing those people who had hurt her. And uh, we prayed for about an hour and a half. By the time we were done, she got up, gave me a great big hug, 
and uh, she's been uh, confirmed now from the doctors as well, being completely healed. Now, now, why did you do this praying? Why couldn't you just reach over and just pull each spear out? Well, that's a great question because some people have done that, but it, the wound is still there. If you pull out the object, but you haven't dealt with the wound it caused, then the person is just in the spirit. They're just bleeding and wounded. And you went to Brazil, and I can just picture this. Well, I'm standing uh, near the front row, and I see two 15-foot angels on the stage like I'd never seen before. They were actually surrounded by fire that came out of them about six feet. So they're 15 feet tall. They have six feet of fire around them. And I'm not thinking, oh, this is wonderful. I'm thinking, I'm scared out of my mind. I need to get away from this. But in that moment where I'm thinking to run, I see the angel closest to me uh, start walking towards me. He puts his hand out and he touches my chest. And I hit the floor, curled up in a ball. I feel this fire cover my body. I'm laying there. Uh, making a pool of sweat. I have my nice clothes on. I'm in Brazil on a cement dusty floor and I'm, I'm covered with fire in the spirit and I begin to see things in the audience. Like what? Well, I saw smaller fire angels the size of a person with fire about a, a foot coming out of them. They were joining in with the worship and the worship, the crowd looked like it was on fire. And uh, I got a call that there was a lady who's uh, 83 who was dying of stage four ovarian cancer. And uh, they asked if I would come and pray. And so I drove out to where she was. Uh, she, she had just started her second round of chemotherapy. She had had her ovary removed. And they said, they closed her back up and said, we got 90% of it, but the other 10 we can't operate on. You have four months to live, just go home do the chemo, but it's, it's not going to help. You're, you're too old. And uh, I talked to her and said, you know, the Lord will take you home, but he wants to take you home with dignity. He doesn't want to take you home with cancer. That's not how the Lord works when he takes people home. And so we agreed together, and there were some, some objects in the spirit that we prayed through, some forgiveness prayers and some uh, prayers about fear for her grandkids. And so we prayed those through for about an hour. And uh, we didn't see anything tremendous happen at that moment, but I got a call two weeks later. She went into her doctor two weeks later. He came in with a chart and he said, I don't know quite how to tell you this, but you're 100% cancer free. To fill their cup with the living water. Among them is this young girl in a striped top who takes the living water, sips, then washes her eyes. Moments later, her countenance has changed. She's shouting and pointing, covering her eyes from something others around don't seem to see. A divine revelation is taking place in this young girl's life. Let's listen to this supernatural experience Jesus Christ wants us to see. What are you seeing? Oh, there's one, there's a man there, he's, he's tall, he's white, he's wearing a white garment, said, repent soon, he's coming, bring people to my church, he's coming very soon, bring more souls, bring more souls. You mean you, you, you're, you're right now, the light, the, the brightness is so much. Yes, 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 angels, 24 elders, is, is there, bound down, singing holy, holy, is the lamb. Yes, it's there, it's there, it's there, yes, it's tall, his face is shiny, I can't even see, my eye is blind. Repent, it's coming soon, I want to say, my eye, my eye, my eye, my eye, my eye, my eye, repent, it's coming soon, yes, repent, it's coming soon. We more souls for me in the church, we more souls. Well, people of God, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. This is a young girl who's having an extraordinary supernatural encounter. As she was coming towards the living water, she immediately pointed and started proclaiming that she is seeing a man dressed in white and a voice telling the people of God to repent and bring more souls. Look at, look at, my eye, oh, oh, 
see, 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 he's big like this. See, 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 he said, he has a very long hair and a crown on his head. And it's, oh, oh, it's sitting on a, a golden throne. Look at, look at, see, see, see the 24 elders. Look at them, look at them. See them, 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 see them. See, 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 see those angels, and Jemike, and Jegebe, and Ge, and Ge, see, 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 see them. Who else? Look at them, look at them, look at, see them, see the angels. See, see, you say, he repent, it's coming very soon. We more souls, we more souls, we more souls, we more souls. See, 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 repent, I'm telling you, repent, 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 repent. So, watch, watch your screen. What, what, what's happening to you? What's happening to you? I'm fine. How did you get here? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. What happened? Look, I saw a man, dear. Um, you say what? You saw, I saw a man, dear. You saw a man? Yes. Tell us how the man looked like. The man was wearing white garments. Mm -hmm. And his hair was very long. And I was wearing a golden crown, sitting on a, on a, on a golden um, chair, it's like throne. And I saw 24 elders, they were, you know, bowing and praising his name. And I saw angels. Angel Raphael, Uriel, Gabriel, they were just bound before him. Then I saw Jesus. I, I was saying that. What, what was he saying? See, yes, I remember. He said, Repent that he's coming very soon. That I should bring more souls into the church of God. If we don't bring more souls, that people are already going astray. That we should bring more souls. People are going the wrong track. We should bring them back to the church. That he is that. He's coming very soon. Have you ever oh, seen something like this before? No, 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 no. Eh? I saw, no, 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 no. You have no, never seen such? I've never seen anything. My eye, my eye. Uh, are you still seeing anything now? Before I opened my eyes, I saw it like smoke. Before I opened my eyes, I saw smoke. I just... Can you stand up and point to the direction where you saw what you are describing now? Point to the direction. It was in the middle, that place, it was big. It was just stayed there you know, on that altar, that side. That... What was the message you were hearing? I was saying, repent, 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 repent. It's coming very soon. Then I put water on my eye because my eye used to itch me. Then I just saw bright something. Him on his head was a big tr um, crown. Then, uh, then on um, was sitting on the throne, saying that we should repent, bring more people to his church. We and couldn't see anything. We didn't see anything. Nobody. I'm telling you, I saw something. See, oh. Wow. What's your name and where you come from? And your age? I'm 12 years old. My name is Gift. From? I'm from Nigeria, and I'm rusted. Where are your parents? My mom is there. You came with your mom? And my siblings. And you said the challenge that brought you here was what? No, I was just praying. My eye was, was sometimes it used to itch me to stop. Sometimes pain me. So how is your eyes now after you put the living water? Okay. No more itching? Yes. Are you still feeling the itching? No. No more itching? Yes. Can you point to us exactly That's where you saw had this revelation? This side. This side. This other side. So where the altar is, that's where you saw this revelation of Jesus with the angels. Yes. This side, too. And I saw the 24 elders were bound and praising him. Then they said, so I should repent. I don't see anything, dear. Tell us, how did you manage to see this? Because we didn't see anything. How did you see it? When I came here, I just poured small water and I cleaned my eyes. I said, sin... Light, yeah. And I they say, giving me a message that we should repent, that it's coming very soon. That's what. We can see that you are so surprised that nobody saw this thing. Why are you surprised? I don't know, because if, if, I, if I saw it, somebody else might have seen it. Oh, all of you might have seen it now. If it... So what you saw, you were thinking that everyone should have seen it, right? Yes. You thought everyone was seeing what you were looking at? Yes. But nobody saw it. Oh, Jesus is coming soon. Yes, a moment earlier, a moment earlier, we saw what happened right here at the very section of the living water where people are taking the living water. This little girl was uh, 
was seeing something that no one here was able to see and giving a vivid description of the scene, what she was seeing. And even right now, she's still shedding tears. We want to ask her, why is she shedding tears? Sister, what's happening? We can see you shedding tears. I'm shocked about what happened. Why is it only me that saw this? Am I the only one in the church? Everyone is meant to see it. We don't know what is happening to me. This is so heavy for me to bear. I need to see the man of God about this because if we don't, if we don't save souls now, we don't know what will happen. I'm surprised nobody has seen it. Even nobody can, nobody can see it. Everything was there. Everything was there. The smoke just poofed away. I don't know to it. I don't see it again. Everything was there. I don't know why we didn't see. Everything was there. We were just praising him. The four elders were just bound before him. It was very clear to me. I'm very surprised nobody even sees um, see, um, see it. I don't know. I don't know. Is that why you are shedding tears? Yes. I'm worried. I mean, if, if people don't go to heaven now, God will God will be hang angry. Please take me to man of God. Let me see him and tell him that we need to win more.